Zeppelin Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Zeppelin, the ultimate collaboration platform for designers and developers. Zeppelin is a tool that connects your design tools with your development tools, supporting Sketch, Adobe XD, Figma, and Photoshop. You can publish your finalized designs from these tools to Zeppelin, where they will automatically be organized and documented. In this video tutorial, we will show you how to create an account and explore the different tools that Zeppelin offers. Additionally, we will demonstrate how to create a new project in Zeppelin. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Zeppelin, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, locate the Get Started button either at the center or the top right side of the home page and click on it. You will then be redirected to the registration page. On the registration page, you'll find various options to sign up for a new account. You can choose to sign up using your Figma account, Google account, or by providing your email address. Select the option that suits your preferences and click on it to proceed. After successfully signing up for a new account, you will be directed to your account dashboard. This dashboard serves as your central hub for managing projects, collaborating with team members, and accessing important resources. Once you access your account dashboard in Zeppelin, you'll notice its simple and intuitive interface. The dashboard is designed to make navigation between different features and functionalities effortless. At the top of the dashboard, you'll find the top menu, which hosts a few tabs for easy access to various sections. The first tab is the Workspace tab. This is where you can access your projects and style guides. If you're part of a team already using Zeppelin, you can request an invitation to join their workspace and collaborate seamlessly. Under the Projects section, you'll be able to view the projects you have already created and are currently working on. You also have the option to create a new project if needed. Additionally, there is a View a Sample Project button available, allowing you to explore a sample project that showcases how Zeppelin works with designs. In the Style Guides section, you can manage and view the style guides you have created. Style guides help organize components, colors, text styles, and spacing tokens. You can link style guides to multiple projects, ensuring consistent resources are referenced across various projects. To create your first style guide, simply click on the Create First Style Guide button and follow the prompts provided. The dashboard also includes a search bar, enabling you to quickly search within your workspaces. You can search for specific segments of your workspace, such as screens, projects, sections, comments, and components. This feature helps you efficiently locate and access the information you need. In the notification section, you can keep track of important updates and activities. Here you'll find notifications related to comments, screens, style guides, tags, and more. Staying informed about recent developments is crucial for effective collaboration within your team. Finally, the Account section allows you to manage your personal account settings. You can update your profile picture by clicking on the profile picture itself and selecting from a range of provided emojis. Additionally, you can modify your profile information, such as your username, email address, password, billing details, and connected apps. The Account section is also where you can manage your notification settings to customize your Zeppelin experience. With these various options available within the dashboard, you have full control over your Zeppelin account and can tailor it to meet your specific needs. Now let's see how to create a project or app in Zeppelin. Creating a new project or app in Zeppelin is a straightforward process that can be completed in just a few simple steps. To get started, navigate to the Projects section within your workspace. Here you will find an overview of all the projects you have previously created. To create a new project, click on the View a Sample Project button. This action will redirect you to a new page where you will see a sample project with its associated screens. By clicking on the first screen, you will be taken to the editor where you can begin customizing this screen and all other screens within the app. Within the editor, you will find different types of content such as text, buttons, and photos that make up the screens of your app. Clicking on any of these elements will open the right sidebar, providing you with options to edit and customize them according to your preferences. You have the freedom to personalize each page within the sample project. 
If you want to customize additional screens, simply click on the arrow next to Search Details at the top of the editor to navigate to the next screen. As you make modifications to your app, the changes will automatically be saved. Once you are satisfied with the customization, you can click on the Zeppelin logo to return to your dashboard. On the dashboard, you will find the app listed, reflecting the recent customizations you made. If you wish to create another project or app, you can do so by clicking on the Create Project button. This will initiate the process of creating a new project, allowing you to start fresh and build another app within Zeppelin. With these simple steps, you can quickly create and customize projects or apps within Zeppelin, enabling you to streamline your design workflow and collaborate seamlessly with your team. Take advantage of Zeppelin's user-friendly interface and robust features to bring your ideas to life. Zeppelin offers four different plans to cater to the needs of various users, free, team, organization, and enterprise. The free plan is designed for individuals who want to explore Zeppelin's features without any financial commitment. This plan is available at no cost and allows users to create a single project. The free plan includes features such as personal workspace and the ability to add up to six project members. For small teams, the team plan is the ideal choice. It also comes at no cost and offers the ability to create up to 12 projects. In addition to the features provided in the free plan, the team plan provides a team workspace and unlimited reviewers, allowing for efficient collaboration. Medium to large teams can benefit from the organization plan, which is priced at $16 per month. With the organization plan, users have access to unlimited projects and enjoy all the features offered in the team plan. Additionally, this plan includes advanced user permissions, Jira server integration, flows, and more. The enterprise plan is tailored for enterprise-level organizations and requires contacting the sales team for pricing details. This plan grants users unlimited projects and encompasses all the features available in the organization plan. In addition, the Enterprise Plan offers unlimited flows, flow boards, Azure DevOps integration, unlimited approvals, and other advanced features. By offering these different plans, Zeppelin ensures that users of varying sizes from individuals to large enterprises can find a plan that suits their specific requirements and budget. Whether you're an individual designer, part of a small team, or working in a large organization, Zeppelin has a plan that can support your design collaboration needs. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Zeppelin. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.